What's up guys, it's Derek Johnson of the Freedom Factory, and today we're going to be comparing click funnels versus drop funnels when it comes to the funnel builders. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos. This video is sponsored by the Marketing Automation Toolkit. Head over to tryjohnson.com and get yours for free. You're going to get some free software tips, tricks, and training to help you in your marketing journey. With that being said, let's compare these two sales funnel builders and see which one comes out on top. When it comes to sales funnels, I give click funnels a five out of five stars and drop funnels a five out of five stars. So let's dive into this comparison. First off, I want to dive into the conversion features and the overall look of both builders. So right now we're looking at ClickFunnels. This is one of my funnels I built on ClickFunnels. You can see it's very crisp and clean looking. As I scroll down, you can see elements are aligned and it overall looks just very nice and clean. So the buttons all lead back up to this two-step order form, which is nice to have. So people have to submit their info before choosing a plan if they don't choose a plan, I can then email them and follow up and see why I have some automation set up to convert them through email. And also, if you collect a phone number, I use Chirply to follow up via text message about once per month, if that's something I think will help convert. So overall, ClickFunnels has been known as the category king of sales funnels for quite a while. And it's hard to argue they make some awesome looking funnels. So let's look at a drop funnels funnel and compare the two. So I also think drop funnels looks really good. So you can make some awesome looking funnels in drop funnels as well. And the conversion is going to be very similar, if not better, in drop funnels for a couple reasons. First off, their load speed is actually better than ClickFunnels, which I compare in a later section. Um, and I don't think the design is lacking in any way. So you can actually get some pretty amazing looking funnels that are optimized for speed and the design is up to par with what you would see on ClickFunnels or maybe even better if you do some work. So I, I put them on equal footing on the aesthetic features um, but when it comes to the load speed and SEO I have to give it up to drop funnels in that category so they do have SEO features built in you can see here um, your funnels can actually rank in Google so that's a nice little perk there if you had a high converting sales funnel and you're driving traffic to it wouldn't it be amazing if it eventually just starts ranking for keywords and getting free traffic as well? So ClickFunnels has very basic SEO capabilities and you can rank a funnel in Google for, for very long tail keywords that aren't competitive, but I wouldn't expect to. So I've used ClickFunnels a lot longer, probably two years and really learn the ins and outs of the funnel builder so we're going to build a funnel here in a minute and i've used drop funnels probably a few months and i've been getting some tips and tricks as i go so we'll try drop funnels as well uh, one thing to note drop funnels does have a one click import feature for existing funnels in click funnels so you can actually take your funnels from click funnels which we'll build out here in a minute and import it into drop funnels. So let's go in here and we'll build a new funnel. Let me make sure I have space. That's another thing. Click funnels limits you to 20 funnels and drop funnels is unlimited. So let me see where we're at here.
I might already have 20 funnels. So what I can do is archive one. So I'll archive a funnel. And now we should be able to build a new funnel here. So they have the cookbook. Um, you can choose your goal here. I'm just going to do collect emails. And we'll make it an opt-in funnel. So this will be what's called a lead funnel. Um, the goal of this funnel is just to get leads. So it would be like a free giveaway, a course, or a PDF, or something like that. You can see they have a lot of templates for you. So that's one thing ClickFunnels does do is give you a lot of awesome templates to start from. We'll go with this one. So this one's very simple. We'll hit edit and take us into the editor here. So you can see I'm inside ClickFunnels now and any of these elements can be changed dragged and dropped so if I wanted to change this text up here all I would have to do is highlight delete right so I can resize it. If I go to settings, I can pull it up a little. Top margin. I can adjust the size here so it's all on two lines. You can see the bold color. If I want, I can change that. Right, something like that. There we go. So now it's just a very simple opt in, right? And what we would do is go to settings and integrations. Um, we'd select active campaign and add to a list or add to a list with tag if we wanted to spark an automation from this action. And we could select chirply and now it's all connected. So Anytime someone opts in in the future, um, this will automatically add them to active campaign with that tag. I can change the SEO metadata. So this is about the limit of ClickFunnels SEO capabilities. Um, there we go. And we'll hit save and preview. And there's our funnel. So one negative thing about ClickFunnels is it's very easy to copy funnels. Um, so I have a tool that actually you can copy any funnel you find. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, I do offer that to my ClickFunnels subscribers so they can start from a better template if they see something out there they want. So. Drop Funnels also has the ability to one-click import funnels. So we'll show you that quick. So I can take this URL, come over to Drop Funnels, go to Marketing Funnels, and hit Add Funnel. You can see they have templates as well for different things. They got some lead generation ones you can start from. Coming soon, thank you pages, all that good stuff. And also an import CF funnel page. So I'm going to drop that URL there. And we'll name it opt-in funnel. 
drop it in. Hundred percent complete. Now we can go to page editor. And there's that funnel. So from here we could edit it. So it's actually easier in drop funnels to make changes um, that you might want to see. So in click funnels you can have bold text or non-bold text in pretty much two colors. Um, drop funnels is built on the WordPress infrastructure so you can actually get more granular if you want um, to change specific details so you could change kind of multiple colors if you want to or any kind of stuff like that um, if you want to make this wider you can just click and drag and reorganize that they have um, all their elements here so say I wanted to add a different photo I could drop a photo in here and select it from my library say I wanted this image instead in advanced you can play with the margins a little bit try to get stuff lined up and once I hit publish that will be live right there. So very easy to import funnels from ClickFunnels. Um, drop funnels, I want to say looks just as good. And you can do pretty much anything in ClickFunnels that you want in drop funnels. So it's kind of a, a learning curve with either system. I will say ClickFunnels has more training um, overall, which that's one of their their main selling features is all the training, both for funnel building and marketing in general. Um, so they have awesome courses. But when it comes to building funnels, they're pretty evenly matched. And although ClickFunnels is said to be the category king, I have to say drop funnels is giving them a run for their money with their page speed and SEO capabilities. So I gave them both five out of five stars. If you have any comments, concerns, or want to see uh, a whole funnel built out, let me know in the comments. With that being said, we're going to jump into the next video and we'll be comparing features. So. Watch for that one. Make sure to subscribe and smash that bell if you're new to the channel to be notified when that one releases. This is Derek Johnson from the Freedom Factory signing out.